been a while. I feel like we kind of just like need to talk and like have a moment together. I have not filmed a video in so long. I have a new tattoo. A lot's happened. <laughs> it's been like two months since my last upload. I keep saying I'm gonna be consistent and then I'm inconsistent. I don't upload videos when I say I'm going to upload them because I end up not liking them. It's just a thing that happens and a thing that I have to accept about myself that I just like, I'm the worst. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Today I am starting another reading vlog. It is currently November 11th. I just put some makeup on because I've tried filming this video twice and I just didn't feel cute and I wanted to feel cute while filming the video. I didn't want to be a tomato. So here we are. I just put some makeup on. feel a little bit better about myself and a little more confident. So we are going to talk about the books that I'm currently reading. First book I'm currently reading is Unwind by Neil Schusterman. I am about 100 pages into this one. I'm feeling pretty two starish about this one, like two out of five stars. I don't have a lot of great things to say about it. Like I'm not loving it, I'm not hating it. I just feel pretty neutral about it. And I just like want more to happen. And like so far we're like 100 pages in and I feel like nothing's happened. So I'm really, really hoping this one will pick up. It's only like 300 and something pages. So I'm thinking if I like actually get my life together, read tonight, read tomorrow, tomorrow I have tomorrow off, I feel like I can make some pretty, really, pretty good progress on this if I really try. Um, yeah, Neil Schusterman, heard a lot of great things about him. I know some people don't like this book and that's not as good as his newer book, which is called Scythe, but I really want to give this one a shot before I read Scythe, especially since I have all the books in this series for the Unwind series. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give this one a shot. Gonna try and finish this pretty soon. We're about like 11 days into the month, and I have not finished a book yet, and I really want to change that. So, by doing that, I will start with this one, hopefully, finish this one, and get it off of my currently reading list on Goodreads. <laughs> Next, I am also reading Ruthless Gods by Emily D. Duncan. I'm not as far into this one as I am with Unwind, which is why I'm going to start with Unwind first since I have more progress made on that one. And I think I'd feel like I've accomplished something if I finished the other book first since I am further into that one. But I'm about eight pages into this one. I had to set it down because I realized I don't remember anything in it from the first one because Ruthless Gods doesn't actually come out until next year. Wednesday Books actually sent me this book, so thank you so much Wednesday Books for sending me an arc of Worthless Gods. This one comes out April 2020. I read Wicked Saints earlier this year in January. It was one of my first reads of the year, which is why I'm setting this book down because there have been quite a few books in between reading that one and this one. I have read like 98 books this year, so like I think it's fair to say that I'm like fair in my I can't remember what happened because I've read so many books in between and quite a few of those books were really long. Like I read the entire Shadowhunter Chronicles of all of the books that are currently published, so I think I'm fair to say that I don't remember what happened in Wicked Saints since that book I read in January. It's almost December, it's midway through November and I haven't I just like don't remember okay don't attack me I don't remember I'm so sorry oh now that I sat down on my like butt I'm so short hello we need to adjust good enough okay so <laughs> moral of the story is I am going to try and read some before I have to go to work today I work at four and it's only noon so I'll probably make some lunch read some of my book and then go to work probably scrape my car because it snowed last night yeah it's november and there's snow on the ground i might show you guys because i was a little shook when i woke up this morning so let's take a peek outside so you may not be able to see much but like um i don't know if you see that there's snow okay sorry for the abrupt stop i heard somebody shoveling outside and i was like no go we ain't gonna talk to you or see you or see me creeping and talking to myself on the camera so <laughs> that being said i'm going to go make lunch and then we're gonna read some of unwind and i'm gonna get my life together because like we really need to do that welcome to my kitchen the lighting in here is literally the worst because the kitchen light flickers and i have literally every light on in my apartment which is that light there 
my lamp and the kitchen light and this is as good as it's gonna get so i'm so sorry but after assessing my options my lunch is going to be a jack pizza so let's have some pizza because <laughs> this is literally all i have you know when you're on like your second week of being paid and you like don't really have any money that's me right now so jack's pizza i get paid friday it's monday it's fine i just like don't really have much left in my kitchen there's really not a lot to make a meal but at least i have pizza so this is what we're gonna make please excuse how disgusting my stove is but like i have the oldest stove oh my god it doesn't want to turn there we go i have a really old stove so it's this little knob and yeah i hope that's in 475 um let me go look we love a gourmet chef and it was actually 425 not 375 so i just switched that we're gonna do this and open the pizza and not make a mess because i just cleaned my kitchen this morning wow look at me being a chef boom oh i got cheese everywhere Hi, so I just changed and finished getting ready to go to work. I have quite a while actually before I need to go. I think it's like just shy of three o'clock, but I work at four. It snowed last night, so I need to go outside, make sure my car starts number one, because it was really, really cold. Number two, I need to clear snow off my car. If there's snow on my car, I have not been outside today. So I'm gonna go bundle up and go do that. And I guess I'll take you with me. I don't know, it's not exciting, but like, I live in a cold place, <laughs> so I'm gonna put my coat on, my gloves, and my hat, and go outside and clear off my car, unfortunately. It's cold, I have to work, and I really don't want to. Love that for me. Okay, so basically, there's snow all over my car, and there's ice surrounding my car. I'm out of breath, because I almost fell. Love that for me. Like, the ground, surrounding my entire car is just like a sheet of ice and my parking spot in my apartment is like slanted so I'm gonna try and not fall on my butt basically see if I fall on my butt okay so all that snow let's see if my windshield wipers will do anything okay I see you get off my car get off my car get off my car get off my car okay I'm not mad I don't have to do anything fantastic All right, will the lighting work? Please brighten up. Okay, so essentially, didn't have to clean snow off my car like I thought I was going to have to. Um, I'm gonna let my car kind of warm up a few minutes because it's really cold in here. But I basically don't have to scrape snow, so that's awesome. If I had worked this morning, I probably would have had to scrape. Really glad I didn't have to do that. But I am going to go to Dunkin' Donuts here in a couple of minutes and get some coffee because I need some caffeine because I hate closing. All I do is get tired when I close because I am an old grandma who goes to bed at nine and I work until nine. So, <laughs> can't hardly deal with that. And cars keep driving by. Why is the street that I live on so busy? Look, there goes another one. Why? I really wish I didn't have to go anywhere today because I know the roads are so crappy and they did like a horrible job snow plowing and I hate this. <laughs> I forgot how much I don't like winter at all. I wish I could just stay home with my heated blanket and just read. But I was not able to concentrate on reading because all I was thinking about was that I have to drive in the snow. So that's canceled. I think I read like a few more pages. Like I read like another chapter of my book. So, <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm gonna try and read more tonight when I get home. I don't know if I'll update or not because usually after I get off of work, I'm really exhausted. Do you see the amount of cars that are driving by? Um, <clears throat> I'm out of breath, but I'm gonna go to, go to coffee. <laughs> this is how tired I am. I'm gonna go to Dunkin' and get some coffee and then I'm gonna go to work and hopefully I don't die on my way to work.
so I just came back from Target. I just got this cute little Hedwig owl ornament. I mean, obviously Hedwig's an owl. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm really tired. Every year I buy a new ornament and this is the one I chose this year. And then I found this um, tree skirt in the Target dollar spot that's black and white. So I got that for my tree. And let me rotate around here. I just went to my mom's and picked up the Christmas tree and I just started setting it up. So I'm going to set up the Christmas tree and put some Christmas tree ornaments on it. Probably not going to film that just because like I'm not wearing pants right now. So I'm going to put that together and then I'll show you guys afterwards. update today I have not shown my face because I hadn't had makeup on all morning and I just felt really gross so I just threw some makeup on because I have a zit here and my whole face is red and I'm trying to get over it but I couldn't and I wasn't gonna film this update until I put some makeup on so here we are I am currently reading Unwind still by Neil Schusterman I have made it up to page 146 so I have made a small amount of progress. Today I have just put my Christmas tree up and really haven't done a whole lot. My mom and I are going to go look at a house later which is pretty wild. Um, I don't really have a lot to update on because I really haven't been reading. I've been literally just sitting here doing nothing with my life today. I have today off so I've just been kind of enjoying that. I did show you guys earlier that I went, <clears throat> I'm so losing my voice right now. I went to Target earlier and I bought a tree skirt and a Christmas ornament and that is about the only productive thing I have done today. So that's where we're at. I don't really plan on doing a lot other than going and looking at this house that my mom wants to look at. She kind of wants to buy me a house which is a little wild. Which, I mean, I would be paying her back, but it's still pretty wild. Um, she kind of wants to help me get out of this apartment because I'm pretty much just throwing my money away every month. Like, I pay $400 a month to live in the apartment that I currently live in. And there are so many things about this apartment that I just, like, do not like. Like, I hate where my apartment is, like, located within, like, the little complex. I mean, it's not really a complex. It's, like, a building but it's like located in like a basement sort of style and so i like walk down two steps and then my apartment is like shoved in the corner and the drain outside my apartment literally never drains and so when it rains i just get water pooling up by my front door and i hate it and when i moved in the carpet was really disgusting and so i can't get rid of the carpet i can't do anything with it and then I can't put stuff on a certain side of my bedroom because the carpet gets wet. And pretty much like any part of like the edge of my apartment that is like near that drain and then on the other side gets wet every single time it rains. So that's where we're at with that. We shall see what happens with this house. There was another house that my mom looked at. She put in a couple of offers and they rejected both of those offers. So we're going to go visit a different house today and see what that house is like. And if I end up getting a house, it's going to be pretty wild. And I will be moving out of this apartment if it does end up happening. Which is kind of terrifying because like a house is kind of a big deal and it's like a lot of commitment. It says the girl who has four tattoos and like a bunch of piercings. But like a house is a lot. But I don't know how many bedrooms this house is, but I'm kind of hoping it has at least two bedrooms because I would really, really, really love to have a library. And so if that's the case, we shall see. Um, I might take some footage on my phone, perhaps, maybe. We shall see. I'm definitely not bringing my camera, especially if there's like a realtor, because that'd be weird. Um, <laughs> so I need to leave soon for that. I... Yeah, 
I don't really know what's gonna happen with that, but like my mom did send me some pictures of the house that we're gonna go look at, which, wow, I need to leave soon because it's 2.12 and I think she said we're going at 3.30. So I need to leave soon to go to my mom's because I hate driving in the snow and the ice, but I don't know. It like looks like a really, really nice house. Like one of these pictures, the kitchen is like super nice. Like look at that. That is like so nice. And I'm just like super impressed with like the um, like hardwood. Honestly though, like if it came with appliances, like mm, I'm sold. I don't know if it actually comes with those appliances or not, but like look how nice that is. And like that carpet looks so clean. So I'm really hoping, okay, the only thing I really hate is the bathroom, like, ew. Like, that's the only thing I don't like about it is the bathroom. And I can't tell if these are two separate bedrooms or if it's one bedroom. I think it's one bedroom. Oops, I exited. But we will see how it works out. I would not be mad if we ended up getting this house and it looks like it has like a cute little like front porch maybe situation. I can't really tell. And there's like a weird pile of sand in the picture but this is like during the summertime and it's winter now. But that is what I have for now. I'm going to get ready to leave and go look at a house. So we'll see what happens. I will be so happy if I get out of this apartment though because the lighting in this apartment is trash, <laughs> which is like partially why I never film. So I read more of Unwind. I'm gonna go look at a house. I'm gonna go to my mom's house. Well, I'm gonna go to my mom's house and then we're gonna go look at a house. It's a lot. <laughs> That's all I have for now. Goodbye. Okay, I just yawned really big as soon as I turned the camera on, but I just stopped reading for the night because I'm really tired and it's 10 p.m. But I am stopping on, you can't even see it. I just unfocused, why is it doing this to me? Okay, you literally can't see it, but I'm gonna be stopping on page 157 of Unwind by Neil Schusterman. And I am going to watch Danny Phantom at 10 p.m. so good night so i have not updated in a hot minute it's like two days later and i just got back from the grocery store so i thought why not do a grocery haul so i've got white milk chocolate milk some chicken stock because i want to make some soup and then i got coffee creamer i was out of garlic salt chicken i got these pev chang's chicken dumplings because i really like these i got some parmesan cheese little like hot dog things I don't know and then I got some cream cheese wontons these are like my guilty pleasure things they're so good I got some butter because I ran out yesterday <laughs> some garbage bags which is not food put those over there I got some Chobani flips so I got cookies and cream I got chocolate haze craze and cookie dough some pop chips and some cereal instant rice paper towels i only buy one roll because i don't go through these that fast some toilet paper because you always need that i got some pizza tarts i just knocked my rice over these mug treats because i was having a very very bad time at the store i got three of these little pasta sides so i got butter and herb cream creamy garlic shells and alfredo i got a can of green beans some shaving cream which is desperately needed i haven't had shaving cream in like a week so I've not been able to shave. And then I got some eggs. I got a new loofah because I lost my other one. I don't know what happened to it. And then I got some shrimp, linguine, scampi stuff, whatever. And then I got a couple bags of vegetables. And that is my grocery haul, which literally cost me so much money. So I'm gonna put this away because it took me literally almost two hours to get my groceries because it was super busy. So I'm gonna put this stuff away. 
so I'm gonna be honest I don't really remember the last reading update that I actually made it's been probably like two days since my last update but we're gonna get covered right now so I have since then finished Unwind by Neil Schusterman I gave this one a two out of five stars I do have the rest of the series so I'm probably gonna continue on just because I am curious as to where he's gonna take the series because I was left with a lot of questions at the end and I feel like nothing was really explained, like the unwinding process, I didn't fully understand still. So I'm going to probably continue on because I'm just curious and I do really wonder where all these characters are going to go. So I can finally mark unwind as red. And then next I read red, white, and royal blue. This book I devoured. I read it in literally a day. And it also happened to be my 100th book of the year, which brings me to the fact that I have completed my Goodreads reading challenge. So I have read 100 books in 2019, which I did not realize until it like popped up that I completed my 100 book challenge. For some reason, I just like forgot. But I did give Red, White, and Royal Blue 5 out of 5 stars, read this in a day super awesome so addictive and i really really enjoyed it and yeah i read both of those so those were my last two books for my reading challenge and then this morning i don't actually have the dust jacket on it but i started reading wow this is like really not gonna focus i started reading the beautiful by renee adier this is i believe the fairy loot edition it has red sprayed edges and it is also signed i'm not really far into this one yet but that is my general reading update. Completed my good reads reading challenge, which is amazing. So yeah, that's all I got to say for right now.